Welcome to Understanding Modern Cloud Architecture on AWS. My name's Cole Morrison, and in this series, we're going to be diving into the components of modern technology stacks built in the cloud, specifically on AWS. Now, if that sounded like a confusing mess, <laughs> a more simple way of explaining what we're doing uh, would be this. You know, if someone came to me and asked, hey, Cole, how would you architect and build a modern application on AWS? Well, this series and what we'll be talking about is the answer to this question. Now, we're going to take a look at this from a 50,000 foot view. What I mean by that is that we're not going to be diving into the code and technical step-by-steps, et cetera, et cetera. I know that's usually the temptation and path of a lot of developers, but quite frankly, it's the slowest way to get this particular topic under your belt simply due to how large it is. You know, diving right into it, if you have no idea as to what any of it is or does, well, it'd kind of be like trying to drive to a city you've never been to without looking at a map. <laughs> sure, you know, you might get there eventually, <laughs> but without a clear 50,000 foot view of what you're doing and where you're going, it's going to take you a lot longer. And, you know, you may wind up in Scranton, Pennsylvania instead of San Francisco, California. Now, because you're here, I'm going to assume that you know of AWS. You know that it's dominating the public cloud market share and it has about 47% of it. Because of this, I'm not going to waste a bunch of time trying to sell you on it or convince you that it's the right choice. You know, unless a very radical mess up happens or political change or a natural disaster, AWS is going to be your best, safest, and stable bet if you're looking to get into the cloud. And I don't just mean for small hobby projects or new ventures, I mean the entire rainbow of companies. So enterprises and high-powered startups alike all use AWS. And I mean, well, Netflix and Dropbox, those are perfect examples of companies that have practically built empires on top of AWS. But we'll leave the rest of selling it, you know, up to the, the loud marketing teams. Now, what do you need to know to take this series? Well, really just one thing, and that's some general experience in the World Wide Web and the technology field. So have you worked in the technology field at all? Have you built a simple website or application? Do you know what a server is? Have you ever even heard of AWS? <laughs> you know, honestly though, this series has been made to keep what you need to know pretty low. So admins, developers, and managers all like, you know, you can get quite a bit out of this. However, if you're not in the tech field at all and never have been, and if this is your first conversation about anything tech, web, or cloud related, yeah, this is probably going to be a bit beyond your reach. That all being said, you don't need to be some super programmer or self-labeled 10x ninja ultra system administrator. <laughs> All you need to do is really, and this is all that's required of you, is to just sit back, relax, and watch. Most of what we're doing is just a conversational exploration of concepts, ideas, and the reasons behind why certain technologies are picked. The goal here is to give you an awareness and an understanding of all of the fabulous and modern tools out there that can be used to build applications in the cloud. Because, you know, if the only tool you have is a hammer, well, everything's a nail. Similarly, if all you know is Heroku or traditional data centers, well, the solutions you can come up with and the things you can build are far fewer. 